What's going on, everybody? This is Chris Cab, and right now you guys are watching We Love Music. Fr. You know, we, we actually listen to a lot of the same music. Uh, I grew up listening to, to a wide range of music. You know, um, my father growing up was into disco. He came from the disco era. So he was listening to like the Bee Gees, Earth, Wind and Fire, um, Marvin Gaye, Lou Rawls. So, you know, that's what he, he always listened to. Um, I spent a lot of time growing up in the Bahamas. So for me, Bob Marley and reggae, you know, that's the, that's the first music I listened to. And Bob Marley was really the first artist that I dove deep into. But other than that, I listened to, you know, so much music from the Rolling Stones to, you know, even hip hop because my brother growing up was into hip hop. So for us, it's like we listen to a lot of the same music, but it goes deeper than that. You know, there's, there's something to be found in, in every every style of music. And uh, I think th those those two people, especially Pharrell and Wyclef, are people that could appreciate that. You know, they could find the beauty in, in everything and they have produced everything. You know, it's based on, um, a lot of it comes from the Caribbean. My parents come from Cuba as well. So I grew up listening to, um, you know, Hispanic music, Gypsy King, Santana, was like, you know, even the Juanes, bands like that were really popular. Um, Mana, that was, these were great bands around uh, Miami, you know, and um, this plays a huge part into it as well, and as well as the, you know, reggae music for me was big, you know, growing up in the Bahamas. So um, there's a lot of Caribbean influence in the music for sure. Like No, Pharrell, you know, I, I've worked with him on many songs. Uh, we, we write songs together, we produce songs together. Um, he was my first teacher really growing up in, in you know, the music industry. He was uh, the first person who really taught me how to write and taught me how to produce and taught me how to, you know, tell a story in your songs. And, uh, you know, we wrote the song together on my album, Liar Liar. And, uh, you know, that was very much a collaborative effort. Uh, he really came up with some of the great chord changes and I was on guitar and he was on the keys and, and he really came up with the funky beat that you hear there. And that amazing bass line as well. So, you know, he's, he, he was a, a great part of that song and uh, also sings the background vocals in the, in the bridge, if you listen carefully. Okay. I first met Pharrell when I was about 15 and, um, you know, Pharrell's lived in Miami now as well for like 12 years. So um, I had a friend of a friend who, who somehow knew Pharrell and knew I was a young kid at the time in my bedroom, you know, recording music, really just starting off. And uh, he came over, uh, this friend, and, and heard my music and... Uh, you know, he was like, oh, you got your own style going. He's like, you're a young kid. And he's like, let me, you know, take you to meet one of my friends and he could point you in the right direction, you know, maybe even give you some guidance. And uh, so he took me and I met Pharrell and, um, you know, I played him this demo that I made in my bedroom and uh, Pharrell really enjoyed it. You know, he was like, you know, you know, you're a young kid. You got your own style. He's obviously like a reggae, acoustic pop thing going here. He's like, this is cool, man. He's like, you know, you need to work on your, your, your chords and your, your songwriting and your, you know, really tell a story through your music. And, uh, and then he said another thing to me, he said, um, you know, if you want to make music, it's a sacrifice. He said, especially at such a young age, you know, you have your friends, they're going to be going to parties, going to clubs, whatever, doing, you know, doing whatever they do, but you really need to be, you know, focused on the music. So, um, you know, for me, at that point, that's when I realized, you know, this is really what I want to do. She's waiting there. No, you know, um, throughout music, musical history, there's been, um, you know, people who've taught younger artists and brought them up. You know, Pharrell did the same thing with Justin Timberlake, with Robin Thicke, um, you know, Quincy Jones with Michael Jackson and the way that he produced his music and taught him so much about making music. You know, there's always been, you know, a greater, a greater mentor and, a, and, a, and a, wise, a wise musician passing on this knowledge to a, a younger musician coming up. And really that's the only way you see some of these amazing, you know, artists turn out is because they were taught things by different people and they learned so much. And really that's, that's the only way to grow, you know, by learning by people and I'm learning from people and, you know, Pharrell was a great mentor to me. So definitely honored to, you know, have his, uh, his mentorship. The idea for Liar Liar in the video was, was really cool. You know, we worked with this great um, production team called Aggressive out of New York. And um, we were all talking and eventually, you know, we were, we were talking about the concept Liar Liar. 
and you know, eventually they, they came up with this great idea for this, this split mirror image, almost how a liar has two faces and uh, you know, has two, two sides to it. We came up with this split mirror image, so it was, it was very cool, and they added the gritty black and white effect to make it you know, that much more dramatic, which was, came out great.